Hi everybody, you are watching tutorials. My name is Alex and today I'm gonna show you how to design this punt or logo in Gravit Designer and we are going to focus primarily on the pan tool and coloring for this panda. So let's start with a new document. Alt N or Option N on your mark and I'm gonna size it with website huge 1920 by 1280. Click Okay. And first of all, you can download my sketch for absolutely free from Vitorials.net, no registration required. So go to Vitorials.net and download the sketch. And once you download the sketch, let's import the image. So go to the file, import place image. This is how you can place an image. This uh, sketch was done in the Krita. I basically traced my own uh, pencil sketch. And let me now open the sketch here. Okay, uh, this is my sketch. This is the mail. So let's place the image. And let's start tracing. So I'm gonna first of all dim the image by decreasing the opacity here on my appearance panel to around 60. Then I'm gonna lock this layer. So uh, to be sure that I, uh, I'm not going to accidentally move it or somehow interfere with it and then drop the pen tool or click B and let's set, start tracing. So basically uh, I'm gonna walk very quick. If you hold left mouse button key you will create a direction handles to smooth your lines. Uh, you see them here. Uh, tip of the tail. I believe I need to make it a little bit more sharper than in my sketch. Next is here. Every arc should uh, have at least three points. This is the rule of your success. While tracing with the pen tool. So this, this curve as well, you see, all of them are defined by the uh, at least three points. So I need to create this and then go to the uh, toys on the forward leg here. I need to hold Alt to break my direction handles. This is how you can create this uh, disconnected joint in Gravity Design. So hold Alt or Option on your mark in order to do this. Let's create a head. I believe we are going to focus on it lately in our tutorial. Here and then click to the initial point to close the path. Every path should be closed, especially if you are designing for some something like uh, marketplace or microstock or uh, whatever you design for some agencies. Most of the paths should be closed. Uh, so far so good. I believe uh, I can uh, push this point a little bit. Here, okay. Um, <clears throat> now we are going to deal with the colors and I'm gonna apply a gradient to the field but before I need to delete a border I'm going also want to delete the sketch, so unlock this by clicking on this padlock icon on the layers panel and click delete to delete the sketch. So I have a normal white tracing here, a completely vector tracing. You can uh, save it on SVG or uh, 
PDF. Let's go to the uh, liner gradient and let's play with this gradient. So my initial point uh, going to be on this uh, on the face and my and my second point going to be on the tip of my tail. So it's very basic two point liner gradient here. So uh, let's start with a black point. I'm gonna move it to the warm color. So I assume that my light source is somewhere here uh, on the forward uh, next to my uh, pointer. So let's go to the uh, this uh, color picker and I'm gonna push it to the orangey colors. But then I will introduce more gray. Yeah. And then uh, I'm gonna select my white color stop and go to the more cold color. Somewhere here, maybe, maybe the purple, magenta, some, something like that. And I'll play with this reddish. Okay, um, basically I'm satisfied with the result. And now we need to uh, work a little bit with the uh, uh, shape of my tail, you see. Uh, we have some inconsistencies, um, some problems here. First of all, I'm gonna uh, select the a tipping uh, point, right? A tipping anchor point and go to the straight joint and uh, to reduce the direction handles here. Uh, then I'm gonna adjust some points here. So generally it looks uh, fine. I think we need to make some refinement uh, <clears throat> after we introduce some shadows and highlights, right? <clears throat> so uh, first highlight here, I'm gonna place it uh, to define my uh, forward leg here. So again, I hold Alt to create a disconnected point. Let me focus more clearly on this design. The good thing in Gra is that we can hold uh, to the curve and adjust the curve alongside with uh, adjusting the point. So see it here. So, so far so good. I have this, uh, the shape, actual shade. Let's pour a color to them. Uh, first of all, delete the borders and go to the gradient again. And this time I'm gonna first of all apply the multiply as a blending mode and then play with the colors. And uh, for my colors, I'm gonna just simply push my black color stop a gradient stop to the reddish colors. So uh, it looks fine now. I'm gonna also play with the, a bit with the white, and uh, then I'm gonna adjust the shape as well. So grab my uh, subselect tool and adjust the shape. Looks neat. Let's go uh, this uh, to this area here and uh, let's define another leg by introducing another uh, <coughs> shadow. But to speed up our process, let's create a shared style with uh, all of these uh, characteristics. So we have this. Uh, we, we have these colors uh, on the gradient and uh, also the multiplayer is the main, blend, main blending mode. So let's create a shared style, go to the appearance style, shared style. And from this drop down, first of all, set a shadow, provide a shadow as a name. So type shadow, click create, and now we are going to apply it uh, to this part. But before do this, Let's create, uh, let's duplicate or clone with Ctrl Shift D, Command Shift D on your Mac the main uh, 
body shape of your punter then select this part select the body shape and uh, let's go to the uh, intersection so just simply intersect this part you see now we, we are dealing with the compound shape it means it's life in gravity so we can adjust or everything uh, uh, on the way and uh, let's now uh, selecting this compound shape uh, go to the uh, shared style and provide another shared style here so we have a shadow uh, also here but yes now it's work fine uh, let's now uh, work with the uh, shape um, itself so click D to select the subselect tool now it looks better and let's define also a tail here I also want to create some shadow so it's rather small grab the pen tool and create a shadow again this time select with the pointer tool the shape of the pointer ctrl shift d again uh, select the path go to the boolean shape operator that called intersect and then apply a shared style again it's gonna it has the name of shadow uh, so far so good grab the direct selection tool and adjust uh, your design accordingly uh, according to your taste v within uh, this compiled shape I believe I need to uh, rearrange some colors uh, to uh, and push it to the more uh, cold uh, palette here here and last but not least I'm gonna all further define my leg by providing the highlight here and this highlight go should um, go through the all of the uh, forward part of my pointer so let's uh, grab a pen tool and with the pen tool I'm going to create a rough shape let's say here connect the shape so it's also as you can see it uh, doesn't cover uh, our ear so select the whole pointer shape again pointer body ctrl shift d command shift d to make it duplicate and then uh, keep it selected select the uh, path on the top and go to the intersect again so we have uh, this uh, design and uh, now uh, we need to first of all apply the blending mode to the screen so go to the appearance blending and um, select the screen and uh, now uh, it's a fun part again rearrange the gradient and uh, I believe we need to also decrease some opacity uh, move to more grayish uh, part of our uh, color spectrum so desaturate your uh, colors and then uh, decrease the opacity of these colors uh, to diminish the effect of the highlight of course and uh, this uh, on the uh, left should be uh, ver uh, very close to the uh, zero around five percent yeah oh well um, I believe some of the parts uh, needs adjustments but now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select this compound uh, shape and uh, convert it to the path with ctrl shift p command shift p on your mark you can go also to the modify path and convert to pass here so now it's no more live but it's also adjustable in a way that I can move uh, uh, anchor points and uh, it's a uh, valuable for me uh, at this part of the tutorial because I'm going to define some let's say Joe uh, basically but uh, it's uh, um, I'm going to define the whole face uh, I'm going to 
switch to disconnected anchor points and uh, model just a little bit the shape of my uh, panda here. So basically what we're gonna do, we create a shape and uh, uncover from the highlight that is free from the highlight. So uh, you see, it uh, looks like uh, another shadow, but it's not as harsh as this one, uh, created uh, with uh, our all uh, intention uh, with a multiplier blending mode. So it's basically the body itself. Uh, if I some parts also here so looks handsome um, I think we can focus also on the ear and uh, we can define a part that will be covered with the same shadow uh, that we covered this uh, here so basically create a design and then go to the style and uh, apply the shadow. And uh, for this shadow I'm gonna decrease the opacity just a bit. And as you can see it's a lack of uh, consistency in uh, uh, Gravity Designer. When I uh, uh, work with the opacity slider you see that my blending mode is automatically sent to multiplied so what you can do to remedy this you can select again uh, multiply and use this uh, opacity field uh, here uh, or right on the fields uh, sub panel here so uh, this is uh, just a subtle adjustment in, on our ear so, and this is how you can create uh, this panto, this sleeping panto. Last thing that I'm gonna create here is the text. Uh, I use uh, simply a very default, uh, very default Open Sans, but uh, light. Uh, Open Sans is one of my favorite uh, typefaces uh, at all. And I'm gonna sample somewhere here. Uh, maybe I need to provide a little to darken a bit my text. So this is how you can create this uh, logo design in Gravity Designer. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Don't forget to visit tutorials.net for more graphic designer, uh, graphic designer tutorials, both written and video. And also, do not forget to join Gravity Designer Tutorials Group and Gravity Designer Users Group. Thank you for watching, enjoy your day!